Hi guys and welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had positive and productive weeks this week. So this week is going to be a different kind of video. It's more of an experimental art type video as I'm trying a new spraying technique. Now, as most of you are aware, I often use Pebeo paints, sponges and brushes uh, in order to paint up the sprayed edges on my books. However, that is not obviously what they do at a professional printer. At a professional printer, they use uh, inks and they roll the inks on or they spray the inks on through a stencil, not through a stencil, it depends on the design, but they use inks. Now these inks are particularly expensive unless you're buying them in bulk. And I, as an artist, as a business owner, am currently not painting enough books to be able to justify buying these inks outright, particularly at quantities that would make them affordable. I just don't have those finances. However, I thought I would try and use perhaps slightly cheaper inks uh, and see if I could get a similar result. So in this method, I'll be using Distress Oxide Peacock Feathers ink uh, in their little re-inker bottles because they normally come in um, a pad that you can use, which you can then sponge on if you're looking for more control. Uh, that will be coming up in a video very soon when I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but this is actually their re-inker, which means it's just straight up liquid ink, uh, which means I can drop it straight into the airbrush and spray it on. I put it on these two books. So the first book I did was just a straight up simple colour sprayed edge all the way around. I put it on Invisible Women by Caroline Criado Perez. So Invisible Women is more of a non-fiction book that I do really recommend and it talks about the data bias um, towards men and away from women in everyday life um, in the way things like technology is calibrated and the way statistics or government statistics are reported. So I do recommend that everybody read this. Um, but I picked the, the peacock feather colour for this as well as the other book uh, and I'm really pleased with the results. The other book I did this on is I used a stencil to do a sprayed edge on A Golden Fury by Samantha Coho. I thought that this book was fantastic and I wanted to do a sprayed edge on it for a really, really long time. Um, but I thought I would use the inks um, so that I could get this really lovely peacock feather colour on there. And I'm really pleased with the results. So this is the stencil pattern I chose. My placement isn't perfect. I'll admit that immediately that I did not place this perfectly on the edge which is actually really very annoying for me um, but I don't know maybe I was in a hurry to try it out but other than that I think that it's come out fantastic so I'm going to show you um, the process of it going on. Thank you. 
enjoyed that here is another look at the stenciled edge so as you can see we've got some really clean lines again my placement was not great which is really irritating um i don't know what was going through in my head when i put this on the edge um but other than that the edges are just so clean the color so vivid that i would consider this a complete success and here is invisible women nice flat colour, no pages sticking together. All in all, I would consider that a great success. So there are obviously pros and cons to using either method. Uh, what are the pros for using the inks? Uh, first of all, it goes on very, very quickly once you've placed the stencils as per normal and, you know, uh, protected the book as per normal, the colour goes down very, very quickly. I, I won't have sped up um, much of what went on in that video footage uh, once it got down to the actual spraying it took a matter of moments so it's very very quick also in the finished product the pages don't stick together there is no risk of that so what are the cons of using this method um, I think there is a slight problem with the distress oxide ink in that um, I don't know how long it takes to fully set but um, I can get some of the ink off of the book and onto my hands almost 24 hours after I'd sprayed it. Um, so I need to look up how to properly set it and if there's a way to properly set it. If not, I will look into using a different uh, liquid ink in the future, maybe a dye ink, something that will sink into the page, but I don't want it to sink into the page too far. So I think there's gonna have to be a balance there uh, because the Distress Oxide ink is a pigment ink, which means it sits on the surface of the page without sinking into it. Another con is that it's more expensive. Uh, and another con is, is that you have to be very careful with your layering. Uh, these inks are not opaque, they are translucent, which means that you can't layer them on top of each other in the same way that you do with acrylic paints. Uh, it also means that if you make a mistake, it is very difficult to correct it. In fact, it's near on impossible to correct it because you, you have a medium that is not opaque. And as you can imagine, the pros for using paint are pretty much the opposite to the cons for using inks. Uh, you have opaque colours, which means they go down 
pretty easily. Most people are pretty familiar with paint as a medium, so I think everybody can use it. You can cover up your mistakes by going in with fine layers of other colours because you have an opaque medium. So if you accidentally have a, a hand judder or something or a stencil isn't that quite downright, you can just go back in and go over it. Because you're using a paintbrush, you have more fine control as well for those more fine lines. And another pro is that you can mix together specific colours. I wouldn't want to start experimenting particularly with mixing ink colours together um, until I had a lot more of them, whereas I'm much more familiar with colour theory for paints, particularly more acrylic style paints or fabric paints, so I can mix a much wider range of colours. I also have not found a liquid uh, metallic shimmer or glitter ink. You could definitely not put glitter through an airbrush, that would damage the airbrush. Um, which is another point in a pro column for paints and a con column for inks is that the airbrush needed to use the ink um, is very expensive to start off with whereas you know you can cut up a, an old dish sponge for about a quid maybe less um, depending on where you shop so it's much cheaper to get started with paints the cons for the paints are obviously that you have to cut off a sponge and that occasionally the pages can stick together. But with a little time and attention, the pages can come apart. I definitely want to play with inks more in the future. I have ordered a few more colours so that I can play with them um, again. Um, I want to play with layering inks um, for a version of A Court of Frost and Starlight. I have a beautiful snowflake design that I'm hoping to do. Um, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Um, I'm also going to be doing a version of Realm Breaker. Uh, I have a very specific custom commission um, that's come in that I'm already in love with. I can't wait to share that with you guys because I'm going to be doing a reversible dust jacket. So turning the dust jacket that came with the book into a reversible dust jacket, which is going to be awesome, along with a sprayed edge and a front cover makeover. I'm also going to be playing with a new type of stencil on A Song of Wraith and Ruin shortly as well. So there is a lot of experimental stuff coming up, but hopefully um, good stuff as well. If you have any book recommendations for me, as always, let me know down below. Help me organise my TBR. I recently um, got Malice by Heather Walter. Um, recommended to me. I'm obviously going to be reading Realm Breaker but I've already got a very specific commission for that um, and I'm also going to be reading Star Daughter and I can't wait to read Star Daughter. I hear it's fantastic. Anyway I hope you've liked this video this week. If you have please give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all of those really good things. The engagement really helps. I hope you guys have positive and productive weeks this week and I will see you next week for another book makeover video. Bye!